Hey guys, welcome back to Flatpak FX and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this glitch effect. So the first thing I want to do is just right click and create a new composition. I'm going to call mine glitch, set this to be 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second and about five seconds in duration and then hit OK. Now there's many ways to actually make these glitch effects but in this video what we're actually going to do is create a layer that has the glitch on it and then we're going to actually use that as a map for our text or images or whatever you want to use. So the first thing is let's create that map. So over here, I just want to create a new solid. I'm going to call this one glitch map and just leave this one to be black. Then I'm going to come over here to the effects and presets and to that layer, I want to apply what we call a fractal noise layer. Now with the fractal noise layer, we're going to use this layer to actually create the glitch effect. Now, just before we move on guys, I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one. So if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. Now, if you like this glitch effect, we've already got a bunch of pre-made After Effects and Premiere Pro glitch effects, and we'll link to those in the description below. So what we can do is come over here on the left, and I want to change the fractal type to be dynamic. And I want to change the noise type to be block. So now we're starting to get a bit more of that blocky sort of glitch effect that we're actually going for. Then I want to come down here to the transform part and I want to come down to the scale. Now under the scale, I want to make sure that uniform scaling is off and that's going to allow us to adjust the width and the height of this effect. Then I can come over here and just adjust this height to be 60. And I find that actually scaling this width up to around sort of the 500 mark works best for text effects. Now, the other thing is at the moment, this glitch effect is just static and we actually want it to play through on our timeline. So that's where we can come down here to the evolution and create a keyframe here at the very start. Then I'm going to move my playhead across to the very end and I want to drag this up to around 30 revolutions. Now, when we play through, you can see that we actually have our glitch effect animating the way that we want it to. Now, keep in mind, you can go back at any point and change the settings on this fractal noise layer, and that will ultimately affect the way the glitch actually affects your text or your background images. So now we have our finished glitch template. We now want to apply that to our text. So all we need to do is select that glitch map layer and just come up to layer and down to pre-compose. You can call this one whatever you like, and then we're going to make sure that move all attributes is selected and then hit OK. So now we have this layer in its own composition. So back at our main composition, what we actually want to do is actually create some text that's going to sit over the top. So all I need to do is just right click and create a new text layer. And I'm just going to come over here and adjust a few of these settings. Now, obviously that's not the font that I want to use. So we're just going to come over here and adjust a few of these settings. I'm just going to use DIN alternate as my main source of text. I'm going to give it a bit of an italic and I'm also going to change the color to make sure that it's white in this case, but you, your color can be whatever you like. And then I'm just going to scale this up I'm also just going to shrink this down a little bit here so it sits a bit more close together. So now we've got our glitch text layer here. Now in order to apply the glitch layer to our text, what we actually need to do is select our text layer and come over here and apply a displacement map. So I can just drop that on my text. Now up here, what we actually want to do is map our text to this background layer. So what I need to do is make sure that our glitch map is selected. Now I can also just turn off our glitch map here just so we can see what we're working with. And here you'll notice that I've got this horizontal displacement. So if I drag this up and down, you can see that it's actually affecting how much of that glitch is affecting our horizontal displacement. So just to re-illustrate this point, if I drag up, it's starting to affect here on the vertical axis. Now in this case, I'm going to set mine to be around 45 for the horizontal, and I want a little bit of vertical displacement, so somewhere around that 10. Now when I play through, you can see that we've already got that effect 
over our text. Now some other things that we can also add to this is we can also add a bit of an RGB split which is where you start to see those red and green colors on the outer extremes appear and we're also going to add some basic text where we don't actually have that effect applied. Now to simply turn the effect on and off all I have to do is I'm going to come along here to the five about five frames in and I'm just going to split this layer and with that top layer select, I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to delete that displacement map. So you can see we've started to get that text where it animates and then it goes back to normal. Now if I just zoom in here, you can see if I slightly overlap these, it just makes the effect look a little bit more realistic. So to turn the effect on and off, all we have to do is just create that layer above and we just drag that to the length that we actually want the effect to be applied. Now in order to add these RGB splits, all we have to do is take that layer, we're simply going to duplicate it, and with that bottom layer selected, we're just going to come up to effect, down to generate and add the fill. And by default, it's immediately going to go to red, but you could change this to be whatever color you want, but in this case, I want it to be red. And the other thing we're going to do is actually drag down on this setting to make this closer to negative 60. So that's just going to make a bit more of that red appear on the edges. Now the other thing I can do is I can also add a blue layer. So I'm just going to take that layer and come up to edit and down to duplicate. And with that bottom layer selected, I'm just going to change the color to be this blue. And I'm also just going to drop this horizontal displacement down to around there. So you can see as we actually play through this, we start to get that little red and blue areas just coming through on the edge of that effect. Now again, you can go through and change those colors to be whatever you like, depending on the color sort of glitch that you're going for. But the other thing is if I came back to my glitch map layer and actually adjusted that transform property, it will affect the way that glitch actually plays out. Now another thing to keep in mind, that if I wanted a bit more of that vertical displacement, I can also do that on this layer up here. So if I dragged up a little bit, you can see that it starts to give it a bit more of that glitch that's happening on the vertical axis. So that's just something to keep in mind if you wanna mess around to fine tune that effect. So another thing I can do here is just add a simple background image underneath. I'm just gonna scale this layer down and then readjust it here slightly. And I'm also just going to add a simple keyframe here on the scale start and just give this a very slight scale here. Then I can take these three layers that we've already created and simply just duplicate them and I can simply just drag them over, just maybe extend them out so they sit over here. And then you could just readjust these settings over here. So say I want to see less of that red, I'm just going to reduce that slightly. And I'm going to leave this untouched layer all the way underneath. And you'll see that as I actually play through, it just adds a bit more of an interesting effect playing over the top. Now I'm going to do this once more here by just duplicating these layers, moving it across maybe out here. And the other thing is um, with this particular layer, I'm actually just going to split this layer here and just drag this out underneath so we get that layer to actually disappear. I'll just shorten this up slightly. So that's pretty much our finished glitch effect. Now I could also on the end here, just double click and change this text. And then when I actually play through this, you can see that it kind of glitches from one text to the other. So that's another way of using this effect if you wanted to use it as a transition, say, over your text. Now keep in mind that you can also apply the same effect to images by using the exact same techniques that we've done on the text. You just apply that displacement map to that image to get very similar results. So there you go guys, I hope you got something out of this After Effects tutorial. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more great After Effects tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.